Well, it's been a very exciting time for the restoration project. Uh, first of all, we removed all the scaffolding on the east side of the church because all that work has now been completed. And so you get a beautiful view of what the finished product looks like. Um, we're not uh, done yet to, in terms of the west side, but we've done a lot of the, a lot of the work required in the attic. We've removed the insulation. We've done the plaster consolidation. We've done the new electrical work, the new uh, walkways, and a new fire alarm system. And so now we're uh, ready to begin work on the wall itself and on the ceiling. Uh, we need money to do it. Uh, uh, the budget for this portion of the work is $600,000. And so we're attempting to raise that money that we need. All the work that's been done to date has been paid for. It's not cost us anything in terms of fundraising expenses. Um, one of the initiatives that we are working on now is giving everyone who is able to help a opportunity to acquire one of the actual stars that are embedded in the ceiling. And uh, the, uh, for $250, we're happy to provide them with the actual stars that uh, are going back to replace some of the damaged uh, ones that, as the work progresses. So the, the work that uh, has been uh, really uh, gratifying, but uh, especially since uh, we received notification from the National Trust uh, for Canada that uh, this church, which had been on their list of the 10 most endangered heritage buildings in all of Canada, has now been removed. And uh, it has been classified as saved. And so it's uh, really uh, encouraging and uh, exciting to receive that recognition on the national scale both in terms of it being so important that it would actually make a list uh, uh, of any kind, but to have it moved from an endangered category to a saved category is a validation of the great work that's been done and the great support we've received from hundreds and hundreds of people.